Space Dude's gonna go pew pew. Vampire Sour's Bezoic 115 continues now. Thanks for messing around. Time for some Space Dude adventures on a level I really should have beaten on the first try, but I got Aaron again and went for Wicked Season. So, no more arrogance. Just pure, raw destruction. Clover, yep. Duplicator, yep. It is phaser in time. Which is the name of the engine Vampire Survivors was originally run on, and Space Dude was the character for it. The mascot, if you would. Like the vampire is for Vampire Survivors. Or at least that's what the wiki says. Or maybe it says something completely different and I'm getting it wrong. Like, I get a lot of things wrong. Like, you know, thinking I could survive with Wicked Season and maximizing Curse. Of course, if the Royal Logan had actually gone into my hands when I was sitting on it, maybe I would have, and we'd be looking at a completely different video. Maybe it would have Blackjack. Maybe it would have Ladies of the Night. What was that? All the bullets just curve into me. Alright, time to charge to wings. There they are. Now just get Tronus Box, Spinach, and good old Empty Tome. Gotta make sure I save that first chest. Because I can do an early evolution on Dairy Plant. It doesn't even have to be inverse, it can just be base Dairy Plant. Well, that's about to happen. There's my Tronus Box. are maxed out. Well, let's get Clover, so I always have four options. And there is my empty tomb. And thus it will be an endless pew pew journey. They can't even get close anymore. Well, until they get a ton of curse from Wicked Season and curse objects. That will not be happening a second time. Why did I do that? I knew it wouldn't evolve it. Now I'll have to wait till five minutes. Yep, I was just two things off and I could have done it. I have gotten the light shoe. Epilepsy. That's it. Kept pronouncing it wrong in the other video. I don't know why. And then again, considering I keep mispronouncing Ologarian as a bunch of other things, I should really just say the Freeze Watch or something like that. But no. Anyway, between the NFT and the Phaser, there's no way the Atlantean is going to last for long. Bye bye. A ton of damage, just incredible amounts of damage. Ooh. I have to not level up. Now I can level up. Alright, now get the tractor orb. Hello, vacuum. They didn't want a limit break on phaser when I had Photon Storm available. No to you, Toronas Fox. No to you. And random always. Right now I'm even with Correct Orb, I grab it. 
So meringue, and then this goes to the fly zone. And there's a boss. I suppose there was a boss. Bye bye, cart. You're a good cart. I'm like Ramba's terrible cart. And I want to play some Holo Cure again. I mean, there hasn't been an update. I don't really have much interest in Holo X Break. Or, I guess it's Holo Cross Break. That makes more sense, actually. I mean, I'm not very good at beat em ups. I'm also not very good at Vampire Survivors, yet I keep doing it. <laughs> uh, I don't know, maybe I'm okay sometimes. Leave me a comment about how well of a hardcore gamer you think I am, or something like that. Maybe you have difficulty with these kinds of things. You know, I was able to get to stage 3 with. You know, I did. For Holo Live. Holo Live. Holo Cure, Save the Vans. I did Stage 1 with Watson, Stage 1 with Gura, and Stage 2 with Takanashi and Ninome, and then Stage 5 with Mori. And you know, it wasn't until I did sta Stage 3 with Mori. It wasn't until Stage 3 that I actually took my first loss because Stage 3 was really hard. And she kept failing. Well, I kept failing for her. Just like I do in real life with everyone. Oh! Uh-oh. Dang you, stalker. Yeah, of course you'd pop up when I'm talking about Hole Alive. Anyway... Wow, I way, way past the armor off. Then, you know, I was watching... Rexford play Holo Cure for the first time, and he went down on his first runs, and it took him a while to get some. It's always just kind of interesting to see something you think is, you know, fairly... I don't want to say easy. But something you complete without much difficulty someone else has trouble with. You know? I guess I could go awake. And then Wicked Season for the finale? Sure, why not? I mean, they're still going to take down the Atlanteans. No reason to not do that when they go down so fast now. Because this is a fairly ridiculous thing. Like, look at it. Very few weapons are going to get you this level of power. Heck, it might even do Victory Sword. And it's just his lack of stats compared to Queen Sigma that he fell here, where she would, you know, just stomp through. Anyway, back to that whole... Really, again, Stalker. Right as I go back to talking about Hololive, huh? Bye. Oh, sweet, I could have gone with a minecart. That's a pretty rare. Anyway, back on Holo, well, I guess Holo Meb stuff since I'm talking about Rexford. No, I guess it's not. But it's hard, you know, I think of some games as being pretty easy overall. But then I watch other people play them and kind of struggle. Then, you know, I thought there's a game that I struggle a lot with. Like, Lies of P, that other character, people, characters? Well, I guess Holo is technically characters. People I have ease with, like, you know. I, I absolutely hated all the bosses in Lies of P. I hated them all, they were terrible. I could not do a bloody thing against them. They would launch all their attacks, the parry would not work, and if I blocked, well, I would either have to heal, and then they'd launch another wave, where I would attack once, and then they would attack again. And there was no way I could do anything against any of these bosses. Ever. There were no gaps for me to exploit. And, you know, then I watched someone else play it, and it's like... The bosses just stand still like idiots for so long between attacks compared to me. 
And it's crazy. You know, I don't know. I mean, I'll fully say I'll blame it on me being mad. But times like that where I see it and it compares and it's just like... Why does it feel like my game plays completely differently compared to a lot of these? You know, that's something that's been going on, like, I feel like my entire life. Like how bad my aim is in Ace Combat 6 or other shooters. Yeah, I remember this one particular moment in Team Fortress 2. I completely missed a headshot on my end. 100% I will say I missed this and did not hit it. But it still somehow registered and gave me the takedown. I was even annoyed because I was so annoyed about it that I wrote it in chat. You know, that's just kind of been how it's all my life. Like, I never actually beat the original Final Fantasy VII. Huh. No candy box. Because North Crater, the final North Crater, it wouldn't let me progress past the first screen. I turned on the little arrows and kept ramming against everything I could, but it would not let me go through. So then I spent all my time ramming my face into Ruby Weapon trying to beat it and failing. And then my memory card reformatted itself like it kept doing. Which was infuriating beyond measure. There is nothing worse in the world than finally beating that super boss that's giving you trouble for days. Only to find out your memory card is wiped right after. Screw you, King Kobold. Screw you. You don't have to worry about it in these days. Because I got Vampire Survivors tied to my account. I got Dark Souls 3 tied to my account. You know, I never, you know, platinumed or whatever the 100% achievement is for Xbox. Which is just, I guess, Diamond. I'm gonna go with Diamond because, you know, that pops up when you do it. A Diamond because it's a rare achievement. Well, I never... I managed to platinum Dark Souls or Dark Souls 2, but not 3 because... Oh god, just grinding out the covenants there was miserable. Like, I was literally getting like 10 million souls just trying to get the proof of a Concord kept. It was beyond misery. I just stopped doing it after a week because I'd gotten like one a day. It was just disheartening. And also, I think Dark Souls 3 is kind of the weakest of the three of them. It's just too linear for my taste. Which means you'd think I'd be big on Elden Ring, but... I think a combination of when it came out... And... Some really... Dumb things I did... Kinda laid me off it. That one I could have easily gotten the Platinum on for the Diamond. I'm, I was literally just two achievements off the two ending achievements I didn't get. And that's it. But you know, I just could have just powered through it, but I didn't. Well, now that the DLC's coming out, I should probably get on that. Maybe I'll even stream my ridiculous nonsense of a character. Because it's part of my grind. Oh boy, is he overleveled. Like, freakishly overleveled. Insanely overleveled. It will baffle you how overleveled he is. Hey, Candy Box. Remember when there was a screen? Oh, I should stop moving and let the experience gems pile up till I get growth season. Hey, sometimes there's enemies on the very edge of the screen. That's funny. Scorpion layer, what's that? Huh. Wow, oh, they're rushing in. 
Good thing I grabbed Wake, because the big robots are still definitely going to make it in. They are just crazy. Man, that was a couple, nice couple levels. Level 224 just through sheer violence. Always something you love to see. I mean, there's no level to have here. You can keep going on endlessly. Kind of funny, now that I think about it. Ew, that's dangerous. No, that's what Awake is for. That wipe you out? No, you're really durable, dang. I need to make sure you're at the edge of the screen. Is there any chickens around here? Yeah, there's some stuff here. Well, oh, not where I wanted to do it, but okay. Wait, what? Oh my god, you can move with the right stick? Holy crap. That's the most surprising thing in all my video gaming. This would make so much easier. Get away, cockatrice. There's no stone for you here. Now I think about it, there's no, like, monster units in Unicorn Overlord. There's, like, gonna be those bestial units, but... No werewolves or Kerberuses. Hellhounds or Kerberuses. Which are technically the same thing, but one of them has two heads and one of them has three. You know, the regular Hellhound totally looks better in Ogre Battle. Kerberos looks kind of dopey. Oh, there's another freeze. Oh, I should not have grabbed that chicken at all. Oh wow, they are not going down fast. That's not good. No, oh, I got another Orlord. Hey, that's nicely timed. Well, that was maybe a bit too early. Can I get a gold beaver? Youch. Now there's a vacuum, that's about it. Now I gotta stand next to one of the ones that's defanged. Now these ones over here will mean I take less damage. I think I grabbed awake. Oh, you death. Yeah, that was a risky one at the end. But Space Dude powered through. Not gonna be using... Wicked Season again, though. Too risky, even if it's just Gallo Tower. Thanks for watching. I forgot to go to the start screen again for some reason. That's weird. Oh, here we go with Gallo Tower. Home of Gallo. It's probably a plot twist for someone. Might pick a card, any card, where do we stop? You know, how about Boogle Illusions? No Clover this time. We we'll want Candle Labrador. And Duplicator. Spinach, of course. Hey, you gotta get some phaser and going. Duplicate that ore. Hey, an empty tome. What did you know? Hey, Toronto's box and... Dang, what was my last one? I switched in Candle Arbor for Clover. This leaves me... Crown. Crown was it. So I don't need to switch out anything much. Yeah, this will be the exact same as this.
wiping them out. Nice and easy. Nope. Yep. Just watching them evaporate as soon as they come on screen. Amazing. Fixing my posture. Okay, definitely. Hey, there's my Toronis box. Now we just need a crown. King of the Space Dudes. Space Dude. Oh wait, does the area increase... Oh, it doesn't increase the beam's thickness, it increases its width. Width. Well, I guess technically it's length. Width. Width. Why can't I pronounce this word? I know exactly what it is, yet I cannot say it. Width. Woot. Woof. Woof beyond to all. The woven have arrived. Hey, there's a chest back there I can grab. There's Metaglia Luck right there I have grabbed. Alright, now heck, maybe I'll finally actually be able to get down and take out Leda. Alright, let's clear out these since they're worth experience gems. I want experience for my gems. Ooh, that was a nice big level up storm. Yep. Don't get distracted on the lull-up storm. It's dangerous. Bye-bye, waves. Man, even blood skeletons are no threat to the space dude. I guess, you know what they say, space trumps vampires. I totally read something about that. Record of the Vampire King. You know the Vampire King underwent his astronaut training, fought off the aliens, and then died to the reincarnation of his son. Oh wow, I'm getting hurt. Wait, no, it was the reincarnation of his daughter. Wiping out wave after wave of enemies. Okay, making decent pace. And I completely missed all the chests up there for some reason. No, I got distracted by there not being any vampires around here. No, I should probably get some damage, huh? That would help. Generally just kind of don't think about it sometimes. When everything's going down fast enough, I think you can just put it off. Well, those dust elementals are really the ones you need to get that 10% more damage on. Totally. Oh, did one of them go down yet? Oh, hey. Even on inverse, you don't pop your chest to evolve before 10, hey? Hey. A. B. C. D. E. F. G. H I. Hi! J K. Just kidding. Elemento. Oh crap. Yeah, okay, I'm stuck here till I can evolve. It shouldn't be too long. And of course, that was a trap. 
You know, that's not the right gem I want. Oh man, he snuck up on me. There's the harpy up there. And down there as well. Freeze, freeze, freeze. Dang it. Take out the harpy, please. Give me the chest so I can get Photon Storm and just wipe them all out instantly. No, oh, that's not good. There we go. Just enough before I got the level up. And now it's victory. Really, Drowner? Now it's victory song. Hey, Arcana. How's it going? Oh, get the beginning now. Look at that laser beam of doom. Nothing's breaking that. Well, nothing so far. Huh. Doesn't even... Oh, hey, there is a damage effect behind it. It's just different and weird. I think, or maybe that's what Browner does when it spawns into its water. Now it's not like I really pay that much attention to its model. Before this second wave, I barely saw Drowner. And usually when it pops up now, there's too much else going on to pay that much attention. It's really funny when I use Impostor Tongue to blow it up huge. Yahoo! Vacuum time. A lot, e a lot harder to go in a straight line here than compared to, say, in later library. Too much stuff uh, just kind of gets in the way with how it... You sort of have to, like, fork it. Like there, you can't go exactly down the middle because there's two path blockers. Can't go on the right because it forks. Still don't know why... OBS says I send audio. I don't need you. Why are you in my way? Oh, I guess I'm not even gonna be able to say later if I get down that far. Too much stuff on screen. Uh oh, Starburst. Hey, Gallo. You gonna get a full clock lancet off? Nope. Hey, Atlantean. How's it going? Are you gonna survive to the 16 minute mark? No, almost there. Got 15 fake seconds left. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nope. Oh, so close, so close. You tried your worst and you didn't succeed. No, oh, I think there was a starburst. I didn't come close to noticing it. Yeah, that's Boogal of Illusions going top. 104 levels of area. It's only going to get worse. Well, better from now on. What was the math on that? It was something like 150 you needed to hit before it evened out perfectly. Or it was always a positive instead of a shuffle. I think in sheer terms of numbers, it's always a positive. It's just, you know, minus 25 to plus 25. You'd think it would be the way basic math works. That once you have 25 levels, it's always positive, but no, it's going to be something like double that. Due to it being multiple. Oh, Melisin. Oh, hey, you're still alive. Well, that didn't last long. Let's go south. I don't need that chest. Why would you ever insinuate I needed that chest? I'm not a pirate. That's Ziacenta. I'm not playing Ziacenta. Must space dude's a space pirate. Oh, God. That's that vampire's lore you're here for. Space dude and his legendary space crew. With their phasers of villainy. 
hunted down the grand treasure of the magic line or something. They found that it's tagged by a dastardly count Ostario or whatever the name is. So they come to Vampire Survivor's planet to hunt him down. Space Dude gets distracted in whatever's going on in Space 54 and has to be rescued by the Vampire Survivors. And then, in gratitude, he brings his phaser and his photon storm to bear against the endless waves of the... Well, I don't know if they're really evil so much as they're just there and we're taking them out. It's not like... I mean, we sort of just invade Gallo's home and beat him up. The same thing with Belayda now. And still not fully blacked out. I knew that was a trap, and yet I activated it anyway. Hey, Arcana chest. Yeah, I shouldn't need it, but I'm gonna get awake anyway. It may be low tier, but boy would I have lost so many times on this challenge without it. Another Molison. No, I should probably get to work on what I want for that one. At least do like some of it. Because it. Like, these videos get distracting. These ones get distracting enough as it is. Melise is just sitting there doing nothing. I mean, I guess random events could spark something interesting. But, um, likely. Oh, Cockerbreeze. Oh, and Starburst is still going out too. Don't worry, Leda. I'm here to save you from being ignored. I guess. I mean, I'm not sure how Gallo got up anywhere if you're at the base of the tower. Did he teleport? I mean, I guess he teleports out once I defeat him here. Alright. Can't remember whether it's latest tower first and then Gallo took it over or the other way around. It was Gallo's first, she invaded it, took the bottom or something. Jeez. Dang boss here is making these manticores really annoying. Oh, there we go. Is there any chicken around here? Pretty far up. Should go grab it. Oh, crab battle. And there we go. Healing. Oh, come on, Drowner. I really want to get to Leda at least in one of these videos. Well, at least there's not much they can do to survive this. And this doesn't trigger Epsilipsy right. It doesn't feel like it's bright enough to do that. Maybe the... Wow. Blood Golems. Okay, now I can resume my downward march. Oh, hey, Clover. Lucky. Oh, wait. These are Crab Golems. I forgot about that. Man, they get... So many spawned in at once they push up into me even though they wouldn't have the health to do it otherwise. At least the manticores are weaker. Wow, the white snakes are very durable. Oh, there's awake in action. Awake safety in action. Man, who's gonna be able to actually do this? Am I gonna actually have to send Lay to go fight herself? Can that even happen? I mean, I eventually checked the Ars Guda to see that it was Illusionist and Maddener. No, it was Trickster and Maddener. So one day, maybe I'll check that out on Wiki. Oh man, two of them now. One gone. They will be able to dodge around enough to survive this. Nope. Up one revive down. Let's see if I could have pushed this out without a wake. 
Not against this amount. Jeez. Yep, they are just too big. It is weird. Well, I got 30 minutes in, so... 30 seconds in. So I should be fine to make it to the 30. I actually have to go up. Maybe if I had kept moving, I would have been able to make my way to our good friend here. But 203 million, that's very good. Hard to do better than that. Thanks for watching. Let's watch the Beswick check off. And Space Dude has launched us into two more wins on the Beswick 158, 159. Join. Thanks for watching. Like if you liked. Give a dislike if you didn't. Give a comment if there's any builds you want me to show off. A subscription if you want to support the channel. Have a good day and keep mezzing around.